but then I have a little coffee cup that I click on to clear my Java console so that I can work every day with my software. And what software is it? What do you do? Citrix and also um, Spark Soft Phone, which is used for call centers. There's also another way of taking quick input almost painlessly on the console. And that's using something called a J option pane. So I'm going to pull out all of our code for our line number reader and pull out all of these statements here. We'll leave in the output, the three questions we want to ask. Alright, so now all we really have is these output statements minus all the code for the line number reader. Let's look at just another way of doing our basic input and output. Okay, and for this, again, I want to use import. And I'm going to import the swing package. And this will allow us to access a J option pane object. And the same thing here, I'm just going to want to um, access what's called a show input dialog. And this show input dialog will take two default arguments, null and, and the question that we want to ask the player. We'll just pass that into the box and like a line number reader it returns a string. So on the left side of the assignment operator is where I want to put the string here in this case full name okay and that would be our basic question and this would get our answer so, so a little pop-up window or pop-up box and I want to do the same thing for the next question except that I wouldn't want to put it inside of full name I would want to use my temporary string and likewise I'll need to parse it or convert it so once I use that temporary string, now I can you know save that to the value score. Alternatively, you know I could use nesting. I could take this part and nest this whole statement here. And as we go on, we'll do more and more nesting. And that would you know, do everything on one line of code, but if that makes you uncomfortable or if that seems confusing, we'll do it this way for now to kind of make it more explicit as far as what's going on. But again, I would want to use my J option pane to take input a third time, and I could reuse my temp string variable. It's not a value that needs to persist, although let me modify the question here and here. And again, I just want to use this time the function not integer parse n, but double parse double. Okay. So the same thing as you know, similar to the line number reader, except that these input dialogs will be little pop-up windows. J option pane objects. So let's rebuild it, recompile it, and I'm going to run it. And depending on, I may have to minimize the IDE to get, oh, there's my pop up right there. So enter your name player, what is your name? Passes it into the input dialog. What is your score? 95 and what is your accuracy rating and I'm gonna say 85.756 this time and again the data comes in there's my string full name there's my integer score and there's my double accuracy rating okay so it's able to parse it um, integer parse in or double parse double it's able to convert back and forth from the string to you know integer double data types so just looking at basic input and output, and this is sort of our second program, two ways to do it, one with a line number reader, one with a J option pane. Review.
A JOption pane is a tool that allows you to take input from the console or a GUI interface such as a JFrame or JAppLet. To use a JOption pane, you must include the package Java X Swing JOption pane like import Java X Swing JOption pane or import Java X Swing and use the asterisk as a wildcard to grab the whole package. There are different JOption pane methods. One, show input dialog prompts the user for input and a pop-up and returns a string. Two, show message dialog does not take input or return a string. It only displays a pop-up. Three, show confirm dialog presents yes, no, or cancel buttons and returns an integer after the user clicks a button. The show input dialog method. Show input dialog is overloaded to accept either two or four arguments. These arguments are one, the parent object or frame in front of which the dialog will appear. If null, the dialog will be centered on the screen. Two, the message the user sees before entering a value. Three, the title to display in the dialog's title bar. Four, the class field depicting the dialog's type. Example, if I take a temporary string called temp and I use a JAPTION pane and pass in two arguments, this will return a string center the dialog box in the screen because of the null, and display what is your name in the dialog box above the blinking cursor waiting for the user's input. If you make use of the fourth argument, you can create input dialogs with special icons. These can be any of the following. Error message, information message, plain message, question message, and warning message. Example. If I take a temporary string and I use an input dialog with four arguments, this returns a string, centers the dialog in the screen, displays what is your name in the dialog box above the blinking cursor waiting for the user's input, displays enter name for the title of the dialog, and displays a question icon. The show message dialog method. Show message dialog displays a simple pop-up dialog. Example. A JAP Champagne show message dialog with two arguments would produce a simple pop-up message that displays pop. The show confirm dialog method. Show confirm dialog displays a pop-up with buttons and returns an integer. These integers are in the form of three finals or numerical constants. These constants are JAP Champagne yes option, JAP Champagne no option, and JAP Champagne cancel option. Example, if I use a show confirm dialog and pass in null and a string, are you happy? This would produce a dialog with three buttons. Yes, no, and cancel. When the user clicks a button in response to the question, the dialog returns an integer. You can then test for the value of the integer to see which button the user clicked. Example, if I have a show confirm dialog, I can take the integer I get and compare it, and based on the comparison, make a decision. Remember, the show input dialog method always returns a string. So if you need an integer, double, or other data type from the user, you must convert it. Java has many functions to do this, such as integer parse int and double parse double. Example, first we get input and store it in a string. Then we must parse or convert it. 